summer is here and it's time for barbecues, potluck suppers, and easy dinners that are light and refreshing. Just like our recipe today, pasta feta, which is an Italian cold pasta salad. I'm Claudia, the Big Color with Claudia, and thanks for watching. So y'all gotta stick with me because to make an outstanding pasta salad, there's like a little formula. You've got your pasta, your dressing, and your vegetables. Now, if you want to put meat in it, go ahead. Find your favorite salami, cut it up in little chunks, throw it in there, and call it a day. But this one we're doing is just gonna be vegetarian. So your pasta matters. First of all, you want to get the Checo. It's the best brand. And you want curly pasta, like this cavatappi or the fazuli. And the curly pasta, pasta, it has texture and it has shape to hold in the flavors. And that's what we want. Plus, plus, it's like super easy to pierce it with a fork. It makes it a lot easier to eat. That's good. Water's boiling, and now you want to put in a very generous helping of salt. And now we're just going to do a half a pound because, like, I like to have it equal pasta to equal vegetables. Now, if you're trying to stretch your pasta to feed a whole lot of people, put the pound in. And now we're going to watch our time on this because... We want to cook the pasta al dente, but to the highest temperature. So when you look on your, on your box, did I say we're doing the fusilli? It says on here, which is this, it says nine to 11 minutes. So we're going to cook it for 11 minutes because this pasta is not going to continue cooking. We're cooling it down because it's a cold pasta salad, right? So sometimes if your pasta is not cooking enough, it could get a little bit chewy. We don't want chewy pasta and we don't want it smushy either. And then we're going to drain it don't rinse it, don't rinse it. The starch that we leave on the pasta actually will help the dressing like stick to the pasta and give it that flavor. Let's make the dressing so that it can sit for a minute. This is pure Italian style, simple, simple, simple. Extra virgin olive oil, a quarter of a cup, and then get your favorite balsamic vinegar. We just need two tablespoons. Now I like the balsamic vinegar because it's great based just gives such a perfect tangy and, and sweet flavor to, to the dressing without it being overkill. And then a tablespoon of honey. Let's use a crushed garlic and we'll stick it in there. A tablespoon of oregano, about a quarter teaspoon of uh, chili flakes or red pepper flakes, half a teaspoon of salt, and let's just put some cracked pepper in there. Now stir this and let these flavors just mingle and rest here until your pasta's ready. We're gonna put the pasta in the bowl. And while it's still warm, I wanna go ahead and pour our dressing. And make sure you get all that good stuff out of there. And now just stir this up and let it just marinate in here. So now we need the salad part. I tell ya, it's simple, simple. So we need one of these containers of grape tomatoes. And we're gonna cut these in half, save the juice. We need a can of black pitted olives. Black olives are good because everybody loves black olives. Cut these in half. And a jar of either roasted red peppers, or if you can find the variety of the different colored peppers, that's even better. But I can only find the red. And now don't drain them. You want to keep whatever juice comes on here as you pull them out and just cut these up in smaller pieces. I know we said we just need a pasta dressing and vegetables. Well, but we need cheese. After all, this is an Italian salad, right? We need the soft mozzarella. Like that's the creamy texture. Now, I like these, they come in these little bitty balls right here. And you can just stick them in as is, but I like to just cut these in like in half. It just gives it such a nice texture. Now if you can't find these already, like in these little balls, 
but then buy like, like a big chunk of it and just tear it, rip it up and stick it in here. And this is like eight ounces, put all of it in there. Now I'll put a quarter cup of some grated Parmesan cheese in here because you know how it is, Parmesan, like on pizza, it pulls everything together. And lastly, we need our green, we need color, right? Fresh basil. We're gonna slice this up about a good packed half cup and then save some for garnish later. And then of course, we need parsley. This is for my mom because she always put parsley in everything. And now we're just gonna stir this up and we're gonna blend all these amazing flavors. Okay, after I finish mixing this, I'm gonna put some saran wrap on top and stick it in the refrigerator for at least two hours. Now when you get ready to serve it, you can just whip up some basil leaves, you know, just some fresh green in there. You also have simple this is and you know this keeps in the refrigerator like for up to three days and just because like we initially put this in the refrigerator for a couple of hours to really get that marinade in there once you do that like you don't have to serve a cold bring it to lunch with you right oh my gosh thanks y'all for watching please subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up on this video until next week y'all bon appetit